ever seen in the lore because of how they possess powers that not even the Jedi or the Sith can completely understand. Of course, we know that the Separatists destroyed these witches during the Clone Wars, only for a few of them to survive the Purge. Morgan Elsbeth was one of them, and she answered the call of the Great Mothers when she arrived on Peridea. So who are the Great Mothers in Ahsoka? The Night Sisters of Dathomir are witches from, you guessed it, the planet Dathomir, which has a particularly strong connection to the dark side of the Force. You might already know it as Darth Maul's home planet. The Night Sisters are magic wielders. Yes, magic exists in Star Wars as a supernatural dimension of the Force, specifically via the dark side. The Night Sisters' magic involves Ikor, a sickly green mist on Dathomir, which they use as part of their rituals. It gives their powers a very distinctive look. It looks like Morgan herself can wield magic, thanks to the green flame that spurts into life when she opens the map to Thrawn's location, making her into even more of a formidable foe than she already seemed after her run-in with Ahsoka Tano in The Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 5. Significantly, Morgan also describes herself as a survivor, suggesting she may have survived Grievous' assault on Dathomir during the Clone Wars. That's a tantalizing bit of backstory for this mysterious woman, and it ties in with what Ahsoka says of her in The Mandalorian. The former Jedi reveals that Morgan's people were killed in the Clone Wars. Great Mothers also communicated to Morgan Elsbeth from beyond time and space. In Episode 2, people wondered why Elsbeth said that she could hear Thrawn from an entirely different galaxy, because Thrawn couldn't have done that due to his lack of Force powers. But it became clear in Episode 6 that Thrawn could communicate with Elsbeth by using the powers of the Great Mothers. Another thing that is worth noting is that they could foresee things using their powers. They could foresee Morgan Elsbeth's coming as they told Thrawn of this beforehand. Then, later in the episode, they could sense that a Jedi was on their way to Peridea. But this power had its limitations, as they couldn't sense that Sabine Wren was also there. It is also possible that they are incredibly powerful, and are much more powerful than any other Night Sister we've seen. Near the end of Episode 6, Thrawn told the Great Mothers that he would need their dark magics once more as he was preparing for the arrival of Ahsoka Tano. This means that these Night Sisters can use spells that some Night Sisters don't have access to, and there's also a good chance that they were the ones who revived Marok. 